Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. To my new subscribers, you all are very much welcome here. And if you're yet to subscribe, please do so. Okay, and also remember to click that bell button beside the subscribe box so that you get notification anytime I upload any of my videos. Okay guys, so guys, today I'll be showing you guys how I made this hibiscus juice, popularly known as Zobo drink. I don't like this drink but after making it with dates today I fell in love with it. Yes guys, just keep sugar aside and use date as your sweetener and believe me you will love it. You will love it. I said it, yes. So let's get started, let me show you guys how I did it. So in here I have about 5 cups of dry hibiscus flour. I'm adding water to it. Feel free to add as much water as you want. Then after that, I'll cover it and allow it to cook for about 30 minutes. This is after 30 minutes. Then I'll be adding pineapple for flavor and uh, and the taste also. I grated my pineapple so that the flavor will come out very well. Pardon my camera, the steam from the cooking covered the, the lens. I'll go ahead and clean it now. Then after that, I'll be adding ginger to it. And for the, for the taste and flavor to come out very well, I'm grating it. After grating, I'll pour in everything. Then I'll give it a stir and cover it to continue cooking. Now I'll go ahead and prep my dates. I'm using, I'm not using dry dates. Okay, if you're using dry date, please soak it in water for 24 hours, all right? And also remo remove the seed in it before blending it. I'll blend mine bit by bit because I have a lot of it. This is it. I've removed the seed in it. So now I'll go ahead and start blending. And after blending it, this is what I have. I used a lot of water to blend it but it still came out very thick. So now I'm trying to to sieve out some of the leaves because I want to add the date. You can actually let the Zobo drink to cool down for some minutes before doing this but guys time is not on my side. I want to go somewhere and I want to finish doing this so that by the time I would come back I will relax and entertain myself with my Zobo drink. Yes. <laughs> So this is after removing some of the leaves, um, but uh, I will still go ahead and remove some. Mind you, the Zobo drink is still hot, so it's not easy doing this. <laughs> so guys, the best thing is to allow it to cool down for some hours before doing this, okay? So beside me, I have my bucket tied with a chiffon cloth, which I'll be using to sieve the, to sieve out the remaining residues. Now I'm adding the blended dates. The date is so thick, so please mix everything very well, okay? 
mix 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 until everything combines properly mind you you don't have to add sugar anymore date is our sugar date is our sweetener and it's far far better than sugar we all know that sugar is not good it's not good for our health instead of sugar please always use dates and you will love this this is the best zobo i've made in a while yes guys i know what i'm saying but you'll only understand when you give this a try <laughs> then you will know what i'm talking about zobo and dates that the combo is mad is 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 super bomb is something else I, in fact i can't overemphasize on that guys it's so so good just use zobo and dates stop using sugar please why doing this your kitchen can get so messy but it's worth it to me it's worth it <laughs> So now it's time to start sieving. So bit by bit I will start sieving the zobo juice. The bucket is, is shaking, so I want to make it stable. Gradually keep pouring in the Zobo juice. Guys, did you see how thick it is? Did you see how thick and red it is? No more sugar. Say bye bye to sugar. <laughs> say bye bye to sugar date is the real mvp now <laughs> date and zobo is the best combo the test alone the test it gives is is something else guys this is a must try ah i was trying to use my hand to do this but the zobo juice is still hot so <laughs> i have to use my tony stick this is after sieving this is what i have left yes this is what i have left i'll go ahead and remove it and continue sieving like i said i will, I will repeat the process until everything i have in the pot is finished Did you see how red it is and thick? This alone gives me joy. <laughs> so I'll continue sieving. The juice is, is still hot. That's why I'm using my tony stick. But please let yours cool down for some hours before you start sieving, okay? Time is not on my side. I want to rush somewhere. And I don't want to continue doing this when I'm back. So I'm trying to finish everything and put the, the Zobo drink in the fridge. So that by the time I would come back, it's already shelled and I will entertain myself with it. Yes, guys. <laughs> That's why I'm rushing. This is the last one I will be saving. And after that, I will remove the chiffon cloth. Now look at what I have in there. Wow. Guys, did you see? 
this is our zobo drink with date as sweetener mm. so good so good guys this is a must try please keep sugar aside and try this method and you will thank me later <laughs> So now is the time to start filling those empty cans with the Zobo juice. Guys, please, if you've watched to this point, kindly give this video a thumbs up, okay? And also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Alright, guys. Then after filling the cans with the Zobo juice, the next thing is to put it in the fridge. And when it is chilled, then you can serve okay so this is after filling the cans the one in the glass i'll be using for testing and the rest will go in the fridge <laughs> i will see you all in my next video bye